Hello everyone, this is Jared here. I have a new update for my uh, my new my turtle startup program. I now call it Alto OS, um, just because I'm an Alto saxophone player. So I thought, you yeah, know, that's a good idea to name it after something I enjoy. So uh, that's what I did, and I called it an OS because it really changes the way that the turtle works. Um, so without further ado, let's just get into some of the bug fixes and other changes that has been made to uh, version 1.2 of my program. So first of all, uh, one of the changes, you see I have a recipe here for a um, for a lapis block. You can see here I have a crafty turtle right on the side there. Um, if before, if you were to, before what you, um, this is what, let me just put it this way. If you wanted to uh, craft a block or something, you just push C and that's what should happen. Um, before, it would craft it again and you, end up, you would end up with that. I would just basically craft twice in a row if it could. So, um, there's that that fix and that one was pretty big fix if you ask me I mean I, I use that a lot and I started once I started using that it was uh, kind of annoying whenever uh, it kind of crafted twice and had to like hurry up and get it before it crafted the second time but um, yeah so next next up we have a, a little feature that I, I added in uh, quite a while ago but it was kind of bugged um, say your turtle is trapped like this well, you wanted to uh, be able to place a block in the middle, or where it's at right now. Uh, I put that as five on, uh, well, either five. You push five, and it should turn around and, and start moving around, and then it should, actually, I had nothing in there, so let me just try that again. So, um, repeat, it'll just keep trying that, and then it'll place a block where it was at. Um, before, it would just keep constantly turning right here and just try to find a spot on its sides and never actually hit um, the point where it needs to go up or down. So if there is, actually let me move this turtle up one spot and uh, let me just grab this. And if it is covered up from the top, it needs to go down and it wasn't happening with that either. So I changed that. And in an updated version that's updated from this version, it's a future version that's not not in beta or anything just yet, um, I have it to where it'll tell you which direction it went. So um, keep an eye out for that. That's coming in the future. Um, but there's that. And so that is fixed. Uh, the next fix is actually something that I... I kind of noticed after I was kind of working with this in the field and everything instead of just testing. Um, if you have a program like my, say my uh, 3 by 3 tunnel program that I have, um, it has multiple parameters. What I mean by that is if I were to type in say 3x3 tunnel and say the, the distance or something, it would just ignore this and then it would just go right into how far do you want to go and then it would go into the um, into the program without actually accepting this parameter and you would have to type that in again. So now I wrote a, a simple program just to show, show this off. So I typed, I called it land because it does nothing. So if I wanted to have three parameters, so let's say one, two, three, these don't even have to be one, two, three, they can be whatever. Um, it'll type out one, two, three and then wait and then go back to startup. One, two, three. Let me go with say one. I'll go lame with uh, one parameter, whatever parameter you want. Now it'll only show one. Anything else? I have no parameters, so it'll say other. Um, before it wouldn't do that. Before uh, it was just taking uh, the first little thing, the the program name, and calling it good. And that's not what I had intended, but that's how, that's the way it worked out. So I had to fix that. So it works now. No worries, but uh, I also did this because I also changed uh, other features about this. If I wanted to, say, edit a program, so, and I wanted to show you lame, I cannot edit programs from here. I did this for a future update that's not quite out, but it's planned in the future. Um, I do not want you to be able, able to edit programs directly from here without a password. So, spoiler alert, I should have said that earlier. <laughs> um, so there's that. Um, let's see what else. I'm looking off a list here. Okay, so if we go down all the way here, you'll see now that it will tell you exactly how far it went and um, which direction. So, um, future update, you're going to be able to push um, um, capital A and capital D 
and have it turn that direction and keep going until it uh, hits a block like it just did, and it will show you um, the amount of blocks it went. So that's cool. But here I have a chest, and I'm going to put some stuff in this chest. Um, and I'm going to show you what happens. I'm going to try to dig it with E right here, and uh, it'll just grab the first slot, slot zero right there, and it will place it in its inventory. Before, what it did is if this inventory was full, it would just keep, actually, it would just keep sucking the items out of this chest until it filled up, and then if it filled up, that would be what happens right there. And you get all the stuff. If your chest was pretty full, you'd have a big lag spike right here. Um, and I, that was really bad. I did not want my uh, my users to be um, having to be careful on which way they, uh, or where they put their turtle. I wanted to be kind of like um, smart about where it goes. And so I'm going to place another, st say the stack of items. Now it'll, it'll also um, say it got, got an item from inventory. It knows that it's a chest. Um, Here's another example of that. Um, just do that. I'm going to push W this time. Couldn't move forward due to a chest. Um, it really should say inventory, but I wanted to be kind of uh, um, worried about space because if it got too much, then it would go and take a new line. I didn't want that. So um, that's why it doesn't say inventory, it just says chest. Um, but it will not actually attempt to go forward if uh, there's a chest there because of that same thing. It doesn't. I don't want it to dig if there's going to be a lag spike or whatever, a bunch of items flying everywhere. So there's that. And um, there's also been some major performance um, boosts. Let's move, turn it around. And I'm going to uh, push and hold W. And you can see the 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 time it takes before it gets the block and the time it has to stop and then go again and then stop then go and block stop you know it is a lot it's much uh, faster than it was before so um, I'm pretty proud of that so what we have next is we have uh, D right here or, I'm sorry this S right here and in a, if you just push a uh, lowercase s it'll just go backwards it won't turn around if you push capital S with um, this one it will turn around and then go forward. So it ends up in the block where it was before. It's facing this way. Instead of just going backwards one block, it would turn around and then go forwards, which would end up at the same block except for facing the other direction. So there's that. And now I also changed a little bit of the way that uh, R works. So let me just uh, grab six, oops, <laughs> 64 sandstone. So I'm going to place that there. Put that there. Now I'm going to push R right here and what R does is it will place a block now that's pretty simple that's nothing special but what I changed is now if the what's in its selected slot right here um, if it's not the same as, as what's there if I put, it will swap out the blocks like that so and then vice versa if you switch these around like that push R it'll swap those blocks out so there's that um, now, a lot of these uh, commands, if I go into, let me just put a block right here, and there's going to be two reason, two uh, things to say right here. Um, if I go into survival right here, and I go over here, push capital W, I don't, you don't actually have to change display screens, but I'm doing this for video. Uh, if you push capital W or um, something, it will actually attack you until it has nothing in its way. And then it, once it detects block, it'll tell you exactly how far it went and what direction. So that's, I think that's pretty cool. Um, and you also have to be careful with that, um, just because, you know, it, that hurts. <laughs> so there's that, and um, I was going somewhere with that, but uh, I forget exactly what I was trying to say there, but that's okay. Um, that is also with dig, like if I were to just push E right here, actually it won't work right now because I'm in, I just do that. If I push E, it'll do that same thing. It will attack if there's a mob there or yourself. There's no way to determine um, if it's you or if you're, you know, a zombie or whatever. So I wanted to be um, kind of something useful in the field. Like if there's a zombie in a tunnel way out there, I wanted you to be able to um, 
be able to just go over here, push W, capital W or something, and have it go over there and attack it. I thought that'd be kind of cool, kind of neat. Um, so I had some functionalities for external programs. I already mentioned that. Um, now there is a little function. I think this was in here last uh, last one too. If you push equals, you're um, going to be able to select a slot with your WASD keys, and it'll tell you which slot it has selected. Uh, this is says slot six, so this is one, two, three, four, five, and then it has highlighted six right here. And so it will keep doing this, and it's not going to get crash. It's not going to crash on these corners. It's just going to go up here, or you know, it's going to decide which way to go, and it's going to be pretty pretty uh, intelligent about it, I think. So um, there's that, and it's going to tell you what it is, and then you push enter, and it's going to say I selected slot whatever slot is chosen. So it happened to be slot six again. So in a future, um, not episode, in a future uh, update, it's going to have it's going to remember which slot it's going to it it, um, it chooses. So uh, don't worry about that. Um, that's coming. I'm giving you quite a few spoilers. I'm sure it doesn't really matter, though. So there's that. We have um, other minor um, preparations for future updates, and we're almost done here. It will also determine if it's an unbreakable block before, um, say, bedrock here. If you push bedrock right here, and I'm going to push E, um, it says I attempted to break a block, but it cannot break. There's no way it can break bedrock. So it just says I attempted to. It doesn't say I did. So I, I um, put that there just so like if it runs into word blocks or whatever, you'll know without you know it's it's going to be pretty. It's going to be intelligent about it, and it's not going to keep trying and trying and trying and trying and trying because before, if um, if there's a block there, it would just keep trying and until that block is gone, and you're going to either have to restart the program or terminate and and do whatever. Or break the turtle, you know, and so I wanted to be protective about against that too. So, um, let's see here. And you can no longer edit programs. I said that, and um, I increased the feedback. So if I had, um, this is just one example, by the way. Either other other examples of this. I'm gonna have a stack of um, however many gravel right there. I'm gonna push E to break those blocks, too, and it tells you in real time how many my blocks it mined. There you go. So that's about it for uh, for this uh, update. It has a lot of new stuff, and I think I think you guys will really enjoy it. I do. I enjoy um, um, working with the turtles with this program. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys uh, use this this program and and enjoy it yourselves. So uh, I'm gonna leave links in the description for stuff, and I'm gonna show you the. Um, the um, paste bin code again. So if you go right here and you type in paste bin get and then you type in this code S9 capital B capital V as in victory capital U capital two, er, capital uh, 2 and then capital M and capital L like that and then you type in update um, then you should be able to get this update program download this update. Now if you run update and then you type in startup or whatever program, um, you will be, it'll be able to update that through the the um, pastebin cloud. So I'm not going to do this just now because it'll also delete my old version. I need to um, put this version on pastebin right as I upload this or something like that. But if you type in update, it will tell you all the stuff you can update. Um, these are the latest versions that are uh, available um, just now for for you guys without going into beta. So um, there's are quite a few programs here, and you guys can check those out if you guys want. Um, but the one I'm showing, showcasing right now is this one right here, Startup. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Have a great day.